And I think for us, we've set a goal and the goal is to compete at a World Cup, but it's like, it, you don't need the necessarily a World Cup to have that goal. Your goal can be to get to head down, but if you put the intentionality of like, okay, I'm gonna train twice a week. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna do exercises outside of the tunnel, I'm gonna do my training before I get in, I'm gonna do my warm ups, I'm gonna visualize what I'm doing beforehand, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna come out, I'm gonna debrief. Like, it's, it's not necessarily like what the goal is that matters, it's the fact that you're setting a goal and then how much intention and seriousness you're gonna put into that goal to get there. Yeah. And, it, and that's kind of what's, that's what we're, we're going through. We've, we, we, ha we set a pretty high goal and we're, we're gonna do what yeah, we can for sure. to, to get there, but it, it doesn't mean that you have to go to a world championship to set a goal. Like that's first not, right? First not. I heard a phrase at some point um, that I really like. It's, um, you better become a millionaire before you make your first million. Yeah. You better have the mindset yeah. of, you know, that level yeah. before you reach it, because if you reach it, before having the right, you know, yeah, yeah. again, mindset, you're, you're not gonna make it. Yeah. It doesn't matter that you have a million in bank account, you're yeah. not gonna keep it. We act like world-class athlete, yeah. it will make us, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> we figured out that, again, yeah, that. an hour a day is a little unrealistic at this point in the training. Um, so we're gonna dial that back a little bit. We're gonna we're gonna go with between 30 to 45 minutes a day, um, and I mean we're working throughout the day too. So depending on what's happening in the day, that makes it a little bit trickier. If we again we were here till like 11 o'clock last night, I think, right? So uh, we, yeah. we started at like 9, 10 in the morning. We're here till 11 o'clock. We had we're working in the middle. We're doing all of these things. So we we're gonna try to be more efficient with the time that we have so that we can get through it a little bit quicker. Um, but anyways, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do more drill flying today. Uh, so we're gonna work, the first session is gonna be three five minute uh, sessions of vertical drills. So rotation one is gonna be head down 360s and head up 360s. Uh, we're gonna go in, we're gonna do them, come out, debrief. Then we're gonna do butterflies and layouts, which is gonna help with the bottom loops. And then we're gonna go through classing and the classic and the crossing classic. And we're gonna pay attention to our arm placement because when we come down from that, we tend to keep our arms up, which is, which is gonna screw us with the busts if we don't pay attention to that. Um, the other thing that I wanna mention in yeah. terms of like intention for the vertical, we noticed yeah. too, for the vertical, he's missing a leg now. Um, what tends to happen is when we go for the vertical, we go all the way to one side of the glass. Yeah. We push all the way back to the other side of the glass and come through. It's called vertical, but the horizontal is crazy yeah. abused. Yeah, like the, the oval is really fat. Yeah. We want to make that a little bit narrow so we're not wasting as much time and it's going to help us stay closer to the ring, which should help make it a little bit quicker. So that's, like, that's something that I'm really yeah. going to try to focus on too. Yeah. Um, I was uncertain or un insecure about the out face uh, uh, the out face because of those stalls. Yeah. The stalling out face was uncomfortable, it's yeah. fast, it's a position you don't see where you're going, yeah, it's scary. But when we were drilling the carving, yeah, felt so much better, because yeah. I can carve. Yeah. Stalling and going across and distances, and it's like, that's more scary. But the carving felt better, so in, in 45 minutes, basically, I've, I've already felt a massive improvement in so many ways, but yeah. that one is satisfying yeah. because it was something that was holding me back a bit. Yeah. But as soon as there's a face, I'm like, you know, I'm going in very bent and very, very yeah. crooked yeah. instead of getting into the carve because yeah. I wasn't carving. Yeah. Now, now we are utilizing that. Feels yeah. so much better, and it looks good. It looks, looks it good. Looks it good. looks good. Like that. Yeah. Watching the videos yesterday, we were like them. Yeah. Uh, so entrance exit was another learning and then the level of the snake we're flying really low which means that every time yeah. we go for a vertical we have to change yeah. the level which takes more time so if, if we fly at the level of the ring it's just a forward and backward rather than a diagonal transition yeah. so that was another learning let's talk about this drill I just want to say first that I'm actually tired after that 
That was that was, it was, that it was, was intense. A, it was a real warm up. <laughs> it definitely felt like a like a warm up. Um, it did its job. Man, the fit, that that just switch, 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 like forces you to really feel like how each transition happens. Um, and I feel like I was able, because we're doing it so repetitively, it's like I can play with things as it's, so it's like, oh, okay, like what does it feel like if I roll my shoulders a little bit more? Yeah. What does it feel like if I just push? And like you can like instantly compare it to the previous one that you're doing. It, it was giving that opportunity to yeah. try something different. Sometimes I was like bouncing more. Sometimes I was like trying to carve it more. Sometimes yeah. I was, it, I play with the position. Even though some felt good, some felt, you know, yeah. oh, I was going too far, not nah, I'd come back. Like, if yeah. from the top view, I wasn't always doing a figure eight. Sometimes yes. I was doing like an S yeah, getting in the middle. Getting put into the corner yeah. like we're doing with the regular snakes, right? Like, yeah. you can feel that difference. So that was interesting. And dude, I really feel like I was catching and pushing. Like, I felt way better. Like, I really liked the drill for the head up. Like, I thought that was... It helped a lot. And I was like you said, I was trying to play with the radius too of like how much am I going outside, how much am I coming back? Is it is it staying tight? Am I getting am I really big? Am I staying close to the line? Am I and then I was noticing like, oh I waited too long to switch on this one, you know what I mean? Like sometimes like oh no, like I waited too long. I'm like, whoa, yeah. oh okay, yeah, I made that one. You know what I mean? Like I could feel when I was like pushing way too far to the other side. Bottom loop 360. Bottom loop. Oh. I thought we didn't have to do the bottom loop at the end of that for some reason. I think so. It's a head down, you have to finish it down. But if we were, like if we were going to, if we were going to a head down circle, we would just go into the circle, right? But no, because after the 360, after, yeah, after the 360, you're head up. So you'd bottom loop into the head down, but you don't stay head up to go back? Like if we were going into a head down circle, we would have to do the bottom loop, right? But if we if we're we're coming down head up, I thought we've let's look at let's look let's at this look thing. at it because I'm pretty sure there's a bottom loop after the 360. I, I know it, it just seems weird to be a double bottom loop, you know? 